Hey guys, so what I'm going to do today is start backwards and show you the problem right away. And you can see the problem. The screen is frozen. The screen is frozen and this camera is frozen as well. You can't see anything and obviously that shouldn't be going on. You should see everything moving right now. So now you can see me and you can see my messy unironed t-shirt. But what was going on there? Why was my main camera and my overhead camera here not working? Why were those pictures freezing? Well, it all relates to AMD compatible motherboards and major issues with Gen 4 speeds and USB ports not working. Yes, the reason those cameras weren't working was simply because I connected them to my computer. That's it. I connected them to my back panel of the motherboard, back of the PC. That's it. Now, those cameras should work. Both cameras are running through Elgato HD 60S Pluses and I can connect both of them to a three, four year old PC in addition to other webcams and they all work. There's enough bandwidth there, but not if I plug it in directly there. And the issue is that if you're in the BIOS and you select auto or gen four, then you will get gen four speeds and you'll get gen four for your GPU X16 slot and you'll get uh, gen four for your NVMe as well. So I've got, for example, I've got the separate, in fact, I can show you. I've got the Sabrin Rocket 4 Plus. This can give me about 6,500, 7,000 read and write. It's a lot, it's very fast. But when I select Gen 4, I get those speeds, but the USB ports do not work. They do not work. I cannot use any of those USB 3.0 or 3.1 ports. Now, interestingly, this seems to be related to bandwidth because the USB 2.0 ports seem to work and USB 2 devices such as my Stream Deck seem to be able to connect to the other ports, USB 3.0 and 3.1, and they work. So the issue here is not about the ports not working. The issue here is that there is a bandwidth issue. Now, the only solution to this right now is to drop all speeds down to Gen 3. You just go into the BIOS and you change it from Auto or Gen 4 and you switch back to Gen 3, and that works. But that means that all of a sudden, my 400 pound SSD turns into a 200 pounds SSD because the speeds are no longer 6,500 megabytes, whatever per second. It's like 2,000. It absolutely destroys the speeds because I'm getting Gen 3 now. And that is a major problem. So like I said, I've got the X570 Aorus Master revision 1.2, and I do have the latest BIOS. Now the, the latest BIOS does add some extra features in the BIOS referring to USB, but it doesn't address this issue. And it's not just me talking about this, but it is something I want to highlight. You'll see a lot of people talking about this um, with USB disconnecting with, with the PCI Express uh, port set to 4.0. Um, PCI Express Gen 4 causes USB problems on B550 and X570. And you'll see a lot of people talking about this. I mean, there's huge discussions here about this issue. It's been going on for months. They are aware of the issue. It goes on for ages. And there's another big issue there appears to apply to just the X16 slot. Now, the weird thing here is that the only real fix, the only real fix to resolve in this seems to be to revert back to Gen 3 speeds. And you can see people are testing this. You know, this person here shared some images. Result, results with PCI Express X16 at auto, which should default to Gen 4, and PCI Express at 3.0. And they've got it here. You can see the speeds are 3,456, but the write speeds are way down at 641. And the other uh, test that they did there was Auto and PCI Express Auto, which should default them to Gen 4, but that's what happens. And I'm seeing the exact same thing here, which is why I've not created that. Actually, I've been quite lazy because someone else has done the hard work for me, but I'm getting this same problem. Now, the weird thing is that it doesn't seem to be affecting every single person out there. There's some people with X570 boards and they said, my NVMe speeds are fine. You know, my GPU speeds are fine. There's no problems whatsoever, but that's not the case for me. Now I can drop down to Gen 3 and I can plug in all my cameras. All those USB problems are gone. They are away, everything is resolved. But all of a sudden, my 400 pound SSD is now a 200 pound SSD because I'm getting Gen 3 speeds instead of Gen 4. And to me, that's unacceptable because I paid extra for one of the best Gen 4 motherboards that you could get, and that's why I've been buying Gen 4 SSDs as well. 
that helps with video editing. And, you know, if I go back and just use Gen 3, then I'm going to lose out on all those benefits. So the only resolution to this that works for everyone is to go into your BIOS and change from Auto or Gen 4 back down to Gen 3. Basically restrict the bandwidth with your motherboard. That's the only solution right now, and it does work. It does appear to work. If you have an issue yourself with a B550 or an X570 motherboard, if you drop it down to Gen 3, your USB ports will work. That's good. It does work. But to me, that's unacceptable because I do want those Gen 4 speeds for my GPU. Granted, there's not a, a massive performance jump, but I also want it for the SSD. So what I've had to do is run all of my cameras through my Thunderbolt 3 hub. And right now, that's what's happening. And it's kind of strange, you know, but if this is a, a bandwidth issue, it's strange that the USB ports aren't getting enough bandwidth. It's bizarre because I can run everything through Thunderbolt 3 and just run it through the X4 and everything's fine, but the USB ports on the motherboard itself aren't working. So I don't want to bore you going through every single uh, single issue that's uh, you know, surrounding this. I'll leave all these uh, discussions here from Reddit that it goes into more detail about exactly what's going on. They have released a few BIOS updates so far, but none of them are addressing this issue. This is a major problem, a major, major problem. And I need to decide whether I send it back. And also, you know, if this continues, I need to think whether I continue using AMD uh, motherboards with the 5950X. Maybe I sell the CPU and the motherboard and I jump back to Intel. That's unacceptable and they need to fix this. And, you know, I bought mines from Aria PC and I sent my long email saying, this is what's happening, what's going on. Have you seen this from other people? And they've not even replied. So I'm a little bit annoyed about it. Buying a Thunderbolt 3 card for your motherboard, for one, people shouldn't have to do that once you've, you know, they've spent money on a motherboard. But for two, many motherboards, most X570 motherboards don't actually have Thunderbolt 3 uh, capabilities. So for others, I'm quite lucky I've got the Thunderbolt 3 adapter. For others, they don't have the, the bypass, they don't have the, the plan B that I have here. They just have to resort to going down to Gen 3. So it's a bit of a crap show, let's put it that way, I'll be polite. Um, but yes, unacceptable. I wanted to highlight this issue. If any of you guys are out there and you've got a similar board, let me know how you got on. Or if you're thinking about getting a, an AMD CPU or a Ryzen chip uh, with a, a B550 or an X570 board, pay attention to this issue. It could affect how you're going to use your computer and it could affect it by, well, by absolutely destroying the fact that you can't use the computer. So it's a major problem. I'm not happy with it, but over to you guys. Let me know what you, th uh, what you think about this. If I see any updates with, if, uh, with this, if I see any resolutions with this, I will let you know. But as it stands, there does not seem to be any solution to this problem. Until next time, guys, take care.